when you start making more complicated animations, um, then you might need to change the scene, which means that you might want to change the background or introduce new characters and so on. And what can happen in Flash is your timeline, if you do it all in one scene, can get really long and really quite messy. So the way we do that is we chop our animation up into short scenes. What I've got here is a scene where my stick man is going to walk towards the shop door. If you notice, I put my door layer on the top. That means he'll go behind it and it'll look like he's going into the shop. So if we play that, my stick man walks through the door like so. When he gets to the grey, that means he's off stage, so you won't see him. And now what I want to do is switch to the inside of the shop. Now I could create a load of new layers here and start drawing the shop and start it all from here. But a simpler way to organise my um, animation is to use a scene. And to do that, I'm going to go to Insert and choose Scene. Once I've done that, here in my Scenes menu, I can choose Scene 2. And that gives me a fresh timeline to start with on scene 2. And you'll see up here I can see which one I'm working on at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is start layer 1. Um, I'm going to start making my shop background on here. I don't know, let's do something quite quick. Let's draw a counter. I'll do it in red. Let's go with black to start with. Let's start drawing a little countertop like this. There's my shop counter, and I'm joining up the lines because then I can use the fill tool. I might have some shells with some jars on behind them. Let's have a lid on that jar. Like that. Again, let's have a lid on that jar. There we go. So I might draw my shop like that, use the fill tool. Make it up as we go along here to start filling in my counter, like so. Taking a bit more care, I could add a new layer and add a shopkeeper. So let's do that. New layer, shopkeeper, like so. Um, let's put him in. Let me just hide my background for the moment. Get my drawing tool, the brush tool, make sure it's black. Here's my shopkeeper. Let's give her some hair. Some terrible hair, apparently. Like that. Put my counter back in. You'll notice how she's in front of the counter at the moment, so I'm going to drag her behind the counter like that. Actually, I can then hide my counter and make her a symbol if I'm going to animate her, and so on and so on. The last thing I can do with my scene is bring in my character from scene one. So, new layer, call it Stickman, like that. Let's go back to scene one. There he is. Let me right click him. Copy him. Go to scene two. On my stickman layer. Like that. And let's paste him. There he is. So I can now use him in my new scene. And I can start to animate from there. So that's how to start to use scenes to break up your animation into smaller sections so that you don't get a massive timeline that's really difficult to manage.